Now this season's about to really take off. What are you looking forward to the most? Uh, well, I hope that our team can go out and just play together, play well, and like show people that we all can play and hopefully get some college recognition. Some people start looking at us. So back when, when the season starts, they'll come to these games and see how we play. What do you think it does for a player to go to school for one year, play with the team, and then have that decision to either leave or stay? Well, um, I think it's almost the same as AAU. Like, you still you get to go against the cream of the crop of other players, and you get to see if you're really ready, and it's, it tunes you up for the NBA. So I think that was a good call by the people that made it. But about people actually leaving after that one year, you said, you know, if they're ready, but when they have those paycheck offers, it's kind of hard to choose college education. Yeah, well, I mean, to me, like, that depends on the person, how far you want to go in the NBA. I believe you should stay in college as long as you can, get as much practice and tune up as you can. So, like, at your fourth year, when you're ready to come out, you'll be ready for the NBA. So you plan on going all four years? Yeah, I would like to go for all years. Who have you looked up to playing-wise? Well, um, LeBron James, when he came out, that's who I wanted to idol myself around. LeBron James didn't go to college. Yeah, well, <laughs> well I, like, uh, a player like that, he was physically fit, and he was, he was ready to take on the step from high school to the NBA, which a lot of people aren't ready to do that, like myself. I would need to go to college, but that's who I would idol my game around. He's strong, you know, I take it to the basket, and he get his teammates involved. That's, that's how I want to be. Well, thank you, Cedric Ferguson with Mouthpiece Sports. I'm Jillian Jesk.